drag queen rocks religion. Provocative performance shocks the Philippines. A provocative performance by a Filipina drag queen known as Pura Luca Vega, in which she dressed as Jesus Christ and danced to a remixed version of the Filipino Catholic song Ama Namin, meaning Our Father, has ignited a firestorm of a debate in the predominantly Catholic Philippines. Vegas's act, which went viral on social media, has been denounced by many religious Filipinos, lawmakers, and even members of the LGBT community as blasphemous and disrespectful to the Catholic Church. Senate President Juan Miguel uh, Zubiri suggested Vegas's performance might violate Article 201 of the Revised Penal Code, which prohibits, quote, offending races or religion in the performance of obscene or indecent plays, scenes, acts, or shows. However, Vega defended her performance, stating, I understand that people call my performance blasphemous, offensive, or regrettable. However, they shouldn't tell me how I practice my faith or how I do my drag. That performance was not for you to begin with. It is my experience and my expression of having been denied my rights. So we can watch a little bit of this performance. I think there's a video of it in the... Um, uh, in the yeah here we go but don't play the audio because the audio does have music um, okay hold on let me, let me hold on. Let me mute this okay so i did mute it okay uh wait share this tab instead okay so we're p we're playing it without audio guys there's music here but we're not going to play the music because it has copyright so wait, if you wait, explain wait what we're it. watching okay shortly you will see a drag jesus wait you, there we go there's the drag jesus there she is in all her bearded glory she kind of has like this like halo kind of around her she has a crown of thorns they're all singing together everyone's like dancing and stuff and it it's to a actual religious worship song so they're singing and dancing to a religious worship song um and what was so interesting was there was a lot of backlash in the Philippines, including from um, a the first elected transgender lawmaker in the Philippines had backlash against this and stated about like how this was so inappropriate. And it was really interesting to me because a lot of the rhetoric that I was reading was basically saying that LGBT people shouldn't do this because it'll give people the wrong impression of the LGBT community and make people dislike the LGBT community. What what do you think of that reasoning? Um, I, the reasoning is that this will make people dislike the LGBT community? Is that what you said? That's the reasoning? Yeah. Because That's like, not going to happen. Oh, in you, you don't like uh. it when people insult LGBT, but here you are insulting LGBT other people's stuff that they think is important. Like that was kind of the reasoning that I was reading. But how is that insulting? Unless you're think being drag is insulting. Maybe. I mean, a lot of people think that like representations of Jesus in like a party or dance setting is just wholly inappropriate, no matter what. No, well, that's not the case because she was dragged. That's why they have a problem. If this was um, people, they have celebratory events where people are wearing Jesus costumes in Philippines and people get don't get offended about that. And also it's not about her out like her her outfit is less revealing than Jesus what Jesus was wearing on the cross. So it can't be that. Jesus is more nude on the cross than she was. So it's just about being anti-drag. You have to be anti-drag and you, you don't get to be anti-drag in philippines may i tell you that okay this is a important culture of the philippines drag is such an important part of the, the, the filipino way of life that if it's the catholic religion against drag culture i'm sorry i'm sorry people i'm sorry christians like i think you're gonna lose i think the catholic i know philippine is one of the most catholic countries the, in the world the most catholic but, country in the, the world Yes, but it's also besides the maybe the Vatican. But it's also one of the most drag-friendly countries in the world. So we'll, there's two forces coming at each other. So we'll see about that. We'll see who comes out top. Because how how could you say that this is insulting 
to your religion unless you're saying drag is bad and you don't get that's blasphemy okay by filipino standards that is blasphemy okay okay <laughs> so i don't know if you can <laughs> so yeah i don't know i, I love person the, is yeah go ahead i love the performance though and i love like um you know satire and creative expression and this joke from adam rickster nearly made me spit out my drink he said now that is what i call trans substantiation <laughs> <laughs> but look at the look at the, you know when they sa amazing say amazing catholic is... joke amazing catholic joke i'm sorry <laughs> You know when they say drag is a form of art? I mean they're right. I mean look at this. It's 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 done. Like this is art. This is art. I mean you should be the Catholic Church should be thanking you. Like they, she's doing a better job at portraying Jesus than you ever have. This is a work of art. Jesus they're celebrating looks fierce. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Look at this. This is this person's way of celebrating these these the, the, the your your um mumbo jumbo. This is the, a modern version of how it's done. You you guys are losing such relevancy. You're going to be begging these modern ways of expression to keep you relevant at some point. You think this is blasphemy at some point? Give it give it a, a few decades. You're going to be begging modern ways of expression to come at making sure that your religion doesn't die out honestly you're not wrong you're going you're going to wish people you people like this were celebrated at this time at some point because that's the only way you're going to stay relevant yeah but yeah so that's the video yeah there's more oh let's see comments here um so, what is so this? don't spread the is... video yeah, don't spread the video. Oh, yeah, Offer your that video last night because it disrespected not just us but God also. It's it's a creation. Okay, disrespected God. Then your God is pathetically weak. If this is how it gets disrespected, oh look at this people <laughs> angry. Look at <laughs> really disrespectful. Must be in prison. <laughs> and D this has one. a very good point. D is saying people nailed to crosses on Easter is more blasphemous. I think. Like, what? Because they do do that in the Philippines. They actually redo the crucifixion in the Philippines. In the Catholic Church, the official Catholic Church actually comes out and says, "Guys, don't do this. Don't do this. This is heretical." Yeah, I mean, based on the Catholic standards, um... I mean, you know what's blasphemous? You know what's blasphemous? You know, remembering Jesus with bunnies that poop chocolate egg. What that is that was like th that what does that got to do with anything? Like, oh yeah, this disrespects Jesus. At least she's wearing the outfit that looks like Jesus. What does bunnies pooping chocolate eggs okay. got to do with Jesus? That is I was raised a that Christian. Is no one ever told me that the bunnies poop the eggs, Armin. I don't know where you're getting them from. <laughs> where else would they get it out? Where else would it come out of? They're Who not, says that it dirt. comes from the bunnies? They're, the bunnies are laying the eggs. No, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> I have pictures. The bunnies are laying the eggs. I'm given that they're not birds. I decide which holes, which hole it comes out of because it's all made up. And I say it's coming out of their butthole. It changed my mind. Oh my god. <laughs> read. Oh, Gaijin American with the two dollar super chat. You want to read He's that? Saying, Slay thine temptations. <laughs> and also this comment on the Twitter, read that one. Well, we um, someone is, oh, you just took oh, it away from me. Yeah, Saying, what's wrong with disrespecting the faith that has disrespected the LGBT community since time in memoriam? This is nothing compared to the inconceivable horrors were inflicted by religion upon the LGBT community throughout history. Exactly. Okay, and Kenny is saying, wait, what did I say exactly? What? What's wrong with that the bunnies poop the eggs. Faith? Exactly. Exactly. So, you, hold on. Let me bring this one. Um, Kenny is saying, "But bunnies don't lay eggs, Armin." That's my point. You think I don't know that? Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Given that they made up this imaginary uh, uh, breed of bunnies that lays egg, 
I get to decide. Who you know, said that up. the bunnies lay eggs? I did Easter egg hunts oh my, my entire life. And it was never like, do, like the eggs come from the bunnies. They do. That's what they say. How do you not know this? Have the you bunnies been are doing laying this the eggs. since you were a child? You've been doing it wrong. I've been, I read up. Okay. I know this. Where, where where do they come from? Where do they where do the chocolate eggs come from? Where, where, where did they tell you to come? Hmm? Should I do some research? You want me to do some research? Okay, this is a very disgusting picture of bunnies laying eggs. So I can't show you that because that's a lot of blood involved. Okay, but let me show you this at least. Okay. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is this is how I think this is how the process have this is how it works. Armin, what the This fuck? is how the eggs are. <laughs> I guess I, I, I know that's that's how the that's how they say. It. <laughs> that's how that's how Easter eggs are made, okay? I just I, I'm sorry you didn't know that. <laughs> okay. 